hi everybody this is crystal so today i have an unboxing for you now i wasn't going to do an unboxing it's from hobium um i was doing a live stream earlier i don't know if you caught that or not but if you didn't um i was talking about how i don't unbox all the yarn that i get because i figured not everybody wants to see it because sometimes it's the same yarn or it's from the same yarn company because i buy a lot of yarn from from hobium and stuff but um people inform me that they really want to see it they don't care if it's the same yarn or from the same company so i'm gonna open it i mean i'm happy to show you guys um all my unboxings um it's actually my favorite video to do i enjoy just talking about yarn in general so um i'm happy to do it so we're gonna go ahead and do that i don't really recall what's in it because <laughs> so it'll be a surprise for both of us but um, before you ask I do not have a tutorial for this hat um, it is just a basic beanie with a reverse single crochet edge um, it is in blue for Lion Brand's Hat Not Hate campaign I have become an advocate advocate to help them reach their goal of 100,000 blue hats by August 1st to uh it's for anti-bullying now if you have not heard of that campaign um if you look below in the description box i will link my video about it so you can watch that and i will also link um the spot on lion brand's website where it talks about it. it's for a very good cause it's where you make blue hats and they you send them to lion brand and they distribute them for um anti-bullying but you can read more about it in the description box below um, with those two links. Um, I just wanted to let you know, but no, I do not have a hat for this, but I will be making some new hat patterns up soon All in blue for the anti-bullying campaign. I want right. I want Lion brand to surpass their goal of 100,000 hats I do now I'm not affiliated with lion brand. I just don't like bullying. I am anti-bullying So that's why I'm helping them out um, by using my platform now this box here is from hobium that i'm getting ready to unbox and i'm not affiliated with them either i'm not affiliated with any yarn company because i choose not to be and i like it that way so i bought this yarn myself and i do not have affiliated links so you can be certain whatever i say about it is just what i think about it but i like all hobium's yarns that i've ever came across so i doubt i'll say anything bad but you never know i guess there could be one that i don't like but anyways, let's do this. I'll be careful with this box cutter. I promise. You ready? <laughs> you guys, I like to open yarn so much with you guys and talk about it. It makes me so happy. And Hobium is my favorite yarn company. And if you're just joining me, you know this. I'm filling up my yarn walls again because I decided I was happy without the yarn. Um... But I lost my creativity drive when it wasn't there. I needed to be surrounded by the things that make me um, create creative. And yarn is brings out my creativity. And when, and when I, I didn't have it surrounding me, I was having trouble. My mind was having trouble. Now, I'm going to surround myself in it again. For those of you who said ill things to me in the past about it, you can keep doing it. I don't care. I'm never going to answer emails. And I'm always just going to block you if you say anything. So that's that. I love yarn. And I'm going to surround myself in it. Here I go. All right. So Hobium has these new bags. I showed these in my last Hobium unboxing. They're so stinking cute. Look at that. I don't know what he's drinking. At first I said it's a Slurpee. Then he's, I think it's, a, maybe it's an iced coffee or a hot coffee. I don't know what do you guys think he's drinking i guess it's just leave it up to your own imagination but it's super cute i love the new bag and then usually from hobian you get like some free sequins or buttons these are buttons this time i've gotten sequins all different kinds of sequins and buttons before and let's see what we got in here oh, oh now this is stuff i bought before Maybe not new, but that's all right. But some of the colors are new. So I got some of the spaghetti yarn again. Recycled craft spaghetti yarn macrame cakes. Aren't those pretty? 
I love this one screams summer. But just in case you haven't uh, seen a video where I unbox this before, I'll tell you all about it right now. So what it is, it's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Um, now they do classify this, uh, I believe, as a bulky six. And that I think is not correct to me. It's like a four weight yarn, about the size of a four weight. I think you would probably agree with me on that. But it's super beautiful. The kicks are very pretty. They all kind of ombre out like that. Um, so this would be great for making bags or uh, placemats or like um, macrame plant hangers. I'm probably, I'm gonna make a summer bag out of this. Probably a beach bag. Now, um, those three, what did, did I tell you what it was? Look at the yardage on it. It is hand wash, lay flat to dry, but for some reason everything seems to just say that nowadays whenever I'm uh, reading off yarn labels, I always say that. I don't know why. Um, 250 meters, which is 273 yards. It looks like they are out of stock of every color at the making of this video. 3, 7, 20, 20, but they will get more in. This is gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up here on my shelf since I'm refilling right next to my other one. Mm, beautiful. Now, I love this too. These were two new colors that they just got in. This is their... Now, last time I opened this, I call it a Raya. Now, I asked Tobium if that was correct, and they said that it was incorrect, but that the, that it was okay the way that I said it. They did not care. It's actually called um, Arya off of, like, Game of Thrones. Now, I don't watch that show. I didn't know anything about it. I had actually had to look it up and see how to pronounce that per person's name, but that's what it is. Arya. But... In case you haven't seen it, I super duper like it. I'm going to try to get all the colors that they have. Um, they are sold out of a few now. I have a few up there already. But, sorry, I'm going to open it carefully. I like to tape them back up when I'm going to keep them and put them on my shelf so they stay clean. It's so cool. In case you guys have not seen it. It's so pretty. This one's a new color that they had. It's like blue and browns. I think blue and brown goes well together. It's very pretty. Blue and brown dots with some little, maybe some little mob dots in there too. So the Aria, Himalaya Aria yarn is 50 grams or um, 87 yards. It's 62 acrylic, 18% polyamide, 10% fine merino super wash, and 10% alpaca. And they classify this as a bulky five, which I agree. And it is hand wash and lay flat to dry. But I really, really like it. It's so pretty. I don't know. I want, they have a solid blue one that I really want to get and make a baby blanket out of it. But they've been sold out of it. And I'm going to wait and get it. And I don't know what i'll make maybe i'll make it's really lightweight so i think like a spring it would work well for a spring project also now the aria is sorry aria 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 yarn is 325 a ball or you can buy it in a tin pack and if you buy it in a tin pack you get a discount which makes it 293 a ball very nice i always buy in packs so i get that get it a little cheaper so that's the aria and that's one of their new colors okay i'm gonna put that back and i'll set that on my shelf later i'm gonna have to make room for it but i did get they had another new color here <laughs> this one's super pretty and i almost bet they're gonna get even more new colors now you don't have to tell me in the comments i know that ice has yarn ice yarns has yarn just like this i don't care hobium's my site i prefer to purchase off hobium i do purchase off ice once in a while but you know everybody has their own preference and i just prefer hobium okay 
mainly because of shipping. Uh, if you, uh, well, there your arm seems, I don't know. Um, when you buy from Hobium, if you spend $150 or more, you can buy however much you want and it's free shipping. And I've never paid shipping at Hobium. So that's what makes it worth it for me as opposed to ice yarns because no matter how much you put in your car to ice, you still get charged shipping. So, but and it doesn't matter. It'll probably, I don't know. I just prefer Hobium, that's all. I'm not trying to diss ice yarns. I, I buy from them too, but just not as often as I buy from Hobium. Hobium's my online yarn company. Isn't this one pretty? Look at that new color. Purple and black. With green dots, yellow dots, pink dots, orange dots. Oh, it's so pretty. I like it. And it's so squishy. Again, it's the same price and everything as the other one. That was just a new color that they had. So that's the Aria yarn. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I've unpackaged this before. This is just a new color that they had. Okay, I actually have made a blanket um, out of this twice, I think, on my channel. Out of two different colors, maybe. Okay, so this is the Karato Cart. Cartopu. Cartopu. I know, I know what it is. I know what it is. I've been corrected plenty. Cartopu Lola Baby. It's 100 grams, 280 meters, or 306 yards. It is classified as a lightweight three, I think. And it is probably a thicker three weight. So it's a 100% acrylic yarn. And this was just a new collar. Now these were only three dollars. Their new colors, for some reason at the time, were only three dollars a skein. Um. Oh, they're all three dollars a skein now. Okay, so they're three dollars a skein, and that's for three hundred six yards of one hundred percent acrylic, lightweight three. Or you can buy a 10-pack and get them for $2.70 each. I do not think that is bad. Now, this, I believe, was a new color, I think. I don't know. It was the orange. And then this one was new. A new green one that they had. I won't open that one up, but it's pretty. Since I'm getting yarn again, I like to collect it all. All colors. Okay, I just have a couple more things in here. It wasn't a lot of yarn. This is the <clears throat> favorite yarn, which I have showed one time, one time, I think, maybe. It's hard to tell. I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so this is favorite, favorite Batik yarn by the Madame Paris. It is classified as a lightweight three. I think it's like probably three or four, probably closer to a four in my opinion. It's a thick three, but let's see. Oh, it's hand wash, wouldn't you know? And lay flat to dry. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's look at the yardage. Made in Turkey, all these yarns are, are uh, made in Turkey. I apologize for not saying that before. It is 100% acrylic, 229 yards. And this is the design it makes. I don't know if you have to knit it to get that design, but that's what I guess the striping effect looks like. Maybe you could single crochet and get that effect. I don't know. I guess so. There must be some pink in there somewhere. I'm not going to dig it up and tear up my skein. I can't tell. <clears throat> or just another color of purple. But anyway, so that's what that is. Okay. I had to look up the price. Now, these are $2.40 a skein, or if you buy a five-pack, they are $2.16 a skein. So, that's a pretty purple I got. Sorry, I got allergies today if I sound like I'm a little stuffed up. And then I bought it in one more color, which I think is really, really pretty. I'm not going to open up my bag, but it's oranges and greens and red and some blues. Very pretty, huh? They have a lot of pretty colors in this, um, in this, uh, favorite yarn here. 
a lot of them are sold out now, but they'll, they'll restock. Trust me, they'll restock. Hobium always restocks. So that's it on my Hobium haul. I'm going to put it up on my shelf. I'm excited to be doing that again. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it all. I really, really love that Aria yarn that my Himalaya Aria yarn. I'm going to get all the colors of that. It's so, so pretty. I don't know what to make. You guys got any ideas? Think. Let me know in the comments what you think this would be good for. I really want to make a baby blanket when I get the right color, but what else do you think? What do you think? Sweater would be kind of cool, I guess, but since spring is coming, it would have, hey, it would make a lightweight sweater probably. Give me your thoughts in the comments. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys think. I always enjoy listening to what you have to say. There's their bag again. All right, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. It was a shorty. Didn't get a lot of stuff. But I'll start opening up my uh, unboxings. If you guys don't like them and you don't want me to open up all of them, let me know in the comments and I won't. Um, I don't want to annoy anybody with too many unboxings. But I sure do like to uh, talk yarn. So that's why I do open most of them. But I don't open all of them. But I will if you want me to. I'll quit talking now. <laughs> you know how it is, energy. Bye, everybody.